But Kate Rooney just sat down with the Binance exec to talk about failed due diligence for its proposed buyout of FTX. He, well, I shouldn't say failed. They didn't fail. They just looked at the books and then they didn't like what they saw. Everybody else apparently failed. What did he see that spooked him? Yeah, Brian, so I, I sat down with Binance's chief strategy officer here in Chicago. He essentially said he was shocked at what they saw when they went through uh, FTX's numbers. Reminder, this was a non-binding letter of intent. They said that they were looking to buy this deal or buy this company in earnest. And he told me they had 30 days to do the deal. They got two hours into the diligence process. He said they decided then, within two hours, that the company was beyond saving. When we started to, you know, meet with these teams, which, by the way, it was like a bomb went off in that place. You know, we're getting on calls. People are crying. Even though, you know, we were within the first, like, 12 hours of this crisis for them, you know, their attorney quit within the first two hours of us setting up the data room. So it was complete pandemonium over there. And it was pretty obvious that once, you know, Sam went, you know, completely silent on them, the entire organization just fell to pieces. And Brian, Binance was a competitor, but it was also an early investor in FTX. Patrick Hillman, the chief strategy officer, telling me he thought venture capital investors and lawmakers were really drawn in by Sam Bankman Fried's persona and his appearance of credibility. He did have some harsh comparisons. He compared it to two pretty high profile financial frauds. I think looking back on this now, one of two things are true. Um, either Sam was completely delusional, which I think was a lot of people think kind of Elizabeth Holmes, you know, it was her mindset, or was so manipulative that he was able to, you know, purposefully create this cult of personality around him and do whatever he deemed like a Bernie Madoff. There's no middle ground. It's one of the two. Uh, which one of those two? I don't know. And I think that is really going to, you know, decide whether, you know, these investors were um, manipulated or negligent. I think it's probably more likely they're being manipulated. And Brian, we did reach out to FTX and Sam Bankman fried on those accusations. No comment uh, from the companies, but the former CEO, Sam Bankman fried now saying that he is still looking at financing options despite that company filing for bankruptcy and that process really being underway. At this point, this morning, the new CEO, John Ray, uh, out with his own pretty sharp criticism of what happened here at FTX. And as you mentioned, Brian, this is the same John Ray who was in charge of restructuring Enron. He says, quote, never in my career have I seen such a complete failure of corporate controls and such a complete absence of trustworthy financial information as occurred here from compromised systems, integrity and faulty regulatory oversight abroad. He goes on to say, to the concentration of control in the hands of a very small group of inexperienced, unsophisticated, and potentially compromised individuals, this situation is unprecedented. unprecedented. He also talks about some of the corporate funds for FTX that were used, he says, to purchase homes and other personal items for FTX employees in the Bahamas. One of the most pervasive failures, as John Ray put it, was the lack of lasting records of decision-making. Bankman Freed set things on auto-delete and then encouraged employees to do the same. And their corporate audits were done by a firm headquartered in the metaverse, as he put it. John Ray also makes it clear that Sam Bankman Freed doesn't speak on behalf of the company anymore. He is technically the former CEO, and he does continue to make what Ray calls erratic and misleading public statements. He pointed to his comments to a Vox reporter that were published yesterday. Among those, Sam Bankman Freed said, essentially, F the regulators, they make everything worse. And John Ray really trying to make it clear here that Sam Bankman Freed is not a spokesperson for FTX right now.